Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Cognito AWS in Next.js. Today we are going to learn how to verify the email while registering, right? So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. In the previous video, we are registered this account, right? And it is not verified. And the previous video, we have checked that the, we received the OTP, right? So how to verify that code? in AWS Cognito Nest.js. So we are going to learn in this video. So let's check it out. So here we have the code for the confirm. So go with the controller first. So here we have the confirm function. So here we have the confirm. So this is the request data transfer object accepts code and the email. Okay. And here go with that one with the service. So where we have the service with conf uh, confirm part. So this is register. This is con uh, confirm code is where just this is confirm user, right? So confirm DTO, the same thing, email and the string email and the code we are accepting the parameter. And this is the pool that we are using. Which pool here we are using this dot user dot pool. Yes, this is correct. Okay. So confirm registration code and that one. So let's run this one. So let's start with next start. So it should be a one more route should be added. That is auth and confirm that should the post request. Let me copy and go with that one. So let's copy this one. Confirm auth and confirm. So here we go with this one auth and confirm. And this is the post email. We required the same email previous one and we will add just the code over here, right? So let's add the code and remove this one also. We required the code only. So here we go with the code. So what's it? The name of the code we have to add here. ODP is 16074. So let me add this one and let's check. It is changes into verify code or not. So code is added. And here we go with this one. Here you can see that it's not verified, right? So let's try and hit this one. So let's go for it. Numerical value cannot be converted to a string. Okay, so it's to be like string. It is accepting, I guess. So send it success. Okay, it means it should be verified right now. And confirm status. You can see that. And here you can see that the email would be verified. Okay, so whenever you just registered, you need to verify the email. You can use this verify function to verify your email with the help of the OTP. Any doubt? Any query in that, let me know in the comment section. Let me review why the code level because I think I haven't checked with the code. So here we have the controller part. So confirm request. This is a service or service confirm user confirm request. That is email and the, because here you can see that code and the email we respect. We are accepting this one Con on confirm user email and the code we required from the confirm. Okay. User data, user email and the pool we are using Cognitor user. Okay, confirm registration is a function of this cognito code we have to send. If error, it sh shows error. If it, and then reject as it will resolve that result. Okay, so this is the function that we are using for verifying the email in AWS cognito. Any doubt, any query in that, let me know in the comment section. In the, in the next video, we are going to learn how to log in with that username and the password. So be with me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.